to a police shootout that led to the recapture of a five time convicted felon. And tonight we're learning more about what happened when a plainclothes detective opened fire on a man accused of breaking into homes all over town. The shootout at a convenience store at Durango and Sahara Saturday night. News 3's Kelsey Thomas, new at 6 o'clock, brings us the backstory live from Metro headquarters. And Jim, there's actually no body camera video of this confrontation, and that's because the officer that was involved is a detective. And as you said, he was wearing plain clothes, he was operating a stakeout, and he was not wearing a body camera. He ran. Uh, that was the uh, detectives giving chase in their vehicle. A police chase ends in a shootout. This surveillance video from a convenience store capturing the moments before bullets flew. On Tuesday, our first look at the suspect. Our suspect is Jason Baker. During a police briefing today, we learned Jason Baker was a wanted man, recently out of jail and on the run. Baker had cut his electronic monitoring bracelet off and left it outside of the Clark County Detention Center. Baker, police say, is also a suspect in numerous home burglaries. Most of the crimes that he committed were valley-wide. A crime spree that ended Saturday night. Officer Travis Linder was operating a stakeout on Baker at a convenience store at Sahara and Durango. When he spotted Baker, he began chasing him. Police say that's when Baker pulled out a handgun and fired one round. Linder continued chasing Baker on foot. As they were running, Baker tripped and fell to the ground. As Baker fell to the ground, he rolled and aimed his firearm in the direction of Detective Linder. So Detective Linder fired one round at Baker, missing him. Baker sprained his ankle during the chase, allowing other officers to catch up to him and put him back in jail. And this is the 16th Metro Police shooting this year. That detective who fired his gun has been placed on routine paid administrative leave. Reporting live tonight outside Metro headquarters, Kelsey Thomas, News 3. Kelsey, thank you.